Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Meeting men isn't difficult. It really isn't. It, it really isn't. And on this one, I know the last two. I say I told the men couldn't comment. I say, fellas, y'all can comment. If just uh, just let the ladies know where you be hanging out at and stuff, right? Because that's one of the things. A lot. I meet a lot of women saying, "Where can I meet these guys? Where are they?" Now we know y'all looking for select guys and stuff and all of that, but you can meet them too. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can meet them anywhere. Cause see, first here's how you do it. First, figure out what do you like to do. Seriously, don't worry about where the men are at. Worry about what you want to do because say you meet a, a man at a place that and you're not even into that activity or you don't you don't go to that place. That's gonna look jacked up. You gonna you gonna look thirsty. And top notch men, top notch men. You know, got something to do. They got business. You know, they got money. You know, they stay in shape and all of that. They don't have time for that. They'll talk to you, and trust me, they will reject you. They don't have a problem. with. They ain't going to approach you. If you got that fish out of water uh, look to you or this ain't something you normally do and you just sitting there talking, that gets on your nerves. Because that's something that happened. I've, I've seen a lot of women, they go someplace, and they just go in there just because the men are there. You know, just because the men are there, they ain't have any right there. In fact, um, you know, if they looking like they just hunting or something, you know, the guy's going to be like most of them. Because, look, let's be real. A lot of top notch guys ain't trying to be players. You know, they just want a good, attractive woman. Really, seriously. It ain't that. You don't even have to be a dime for some of them as long as you about seven and above. Right. The seven and nine range. Right. If you're about a seven, most guys will be like, oh, OK. Right. So it ain't difficult, but, you know, don't 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 go where you don't normally go. Figure out figure. First of all, get your life together before you even look for a guy. Figure out what you want to do. All right. Figure out the things you like to do. Where do you like to go? You like going to museums? OK, fine. Go there. You know, you like going to art festivals? Go there. You like going to a hair expo or different expos or wine tasting and stuff? Like, just go ahead and go. If you like going to the go-go down in D.C., go and do that. <laughs> or parties, whatever, whatever. For, but And it's not just so much where you want to party at, but it's so much is it in line with what you do, you know, the things that you value. You know, it could be, I mean, seriously, like when I was a, um, a past life in D.C., I used to go to like some official stuff like political things and everything when I was in D.C. Like, I remember I went to uh, this thing, and it was a bunch of young professionals there, and they were talking about some serious stuff politically related. And there was a lot of nice young ladies there. In fact, I had an ex there and ran into her. You know? She was like, hey, Rob, how you doing? Hey, what you doing tonight, Rob? <laughs> and she had another woman who was living in my building was there as well. Now, she was like, Hey, Rom, I'll be over tonight. <laughs> okay, we won't go there. Anyway, right? <laughs> but yeah, figure out what you like to do first. And then you got to put yourself in position. Well, see, one of the things, too, is, I mean, I know a lot of guys have a fantasy about uh, women approaching them. But we, ladies, we know y'all don't do that on the whole. Only time y'all, and even if y'all see that guy and he's like everything you want, you know, he's that handsome guy, got that body thing, he might even be ugly hot or something. Whatever it is that turns you on, you know you still don't want to approach him. But you got to put yourself in a position for him to approach you, right? So it's like first what you like to do, and then you got to be receptive. Because, see, a lot of women will go into a situation looking for a specific type of guy, but don't be receptive, right? It's like, okay, you okay, like you go into a situation and you know there's going to be a bunch of rich guys there, right? So the guys that look rich to you or look like they got money, you know, you're going you're gonna to walk a little slower. 
switch a little bit, be receptive, be he 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 he, and all of that, right? You're going to be that at first, but then, you know, and be focused on them. But then when you, many women, when you see some guys who don't look like they have money or anything like that, you know, in that situ specific situation, you might not be as receptive. But here's the thing. You got to be, re well, if you, first of all, what is it you like to do? And then be receptive wherever you're at. Just be receptive in general. Even walking down the street, be receptive. You never know. Now, of course, you know, there's a problem. You know, somebody who you find unattractive might approach you. Probably likely to approach you since, you know, a lot of guys are going to approach hard anyway. Right? And, yeah, you can deal with that. Just be polite as possible. But then you might, you know, you're just walking down the street or something. And it might be that guy who's just right, who got everything that you're looking for. But you got to be receptive. But that's in general. You know, a lot of people ain't really walking down the streets, especially during this time. But even when the quarantine is over, the quarantine's over, lockdowns are over. You know, you ain't that receptive. If you're walking down the street, it's usually to do something. But think about the places that you can go that you're going to meet somebody. Okay, like you go to the gym. There's, one, you see the guys there, and two, if y'all have on, you know, y'all got on those, uh, you know, workout pants and everything, y'all looking good, trust me, he's looking. Even the guys who's focused on it, um, just on their workout, they paying attention. The key there is receptive, but that's a target-rich environment. Any gym is a target-rich environment. In fact, when I used to do gym sales, I used to... When I was selling something to a woman, I just walked her through the park where the men were when I knew she wasn't going to work out there. But then they, they'd they sign up. O only mistake they would make when they would come to the gym, they have all makeup on perfume. <laughs> but at, that's one particular gym is, was, as one of my coworkers called it, a den of inequity. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff happening, right? Like, hey, this one guy, I had to walk up to him while he was on the floor. He was next to a woman. And I said, dude, um, can you find a way not to finger this woman on the floor? Oh, my bad, wrong. <laughs> but anyway, you know, that's just one area. Like like when you go going grocery shopping, right? When you go going grocery shopping, like say you go to certain stores, depending on the nature of the store, the guys who are going to be in there are the same. Like, um... You know, some within my inner circles, private, more private groups, we even um, had a gentleman, he did a um, webinar on the art of approach. And he said, yeah, check out places like Whole Foods, Sprouts, Target, all of that. Now, understand, like, say you go to a place like Sprouts or wherever, like more of a high-end grocery store. Understand, well, one is, and a lot of men who actually go in there, but understand, if a man is in there and he's shopping, y'all already on the same thing. And he might just walk up and say, hey, how you doing? You know, he's approaching because, you know, we told men how to do. He might look in your card or something like that. But the key is be receptive. Be receptive for it, you know. And I know y'all give y'all signals. I don't even have to tell you your signals. There's, there's some things I can't tell you, you know. And I'm working with the men to recognize those signals, but... You know, you got to put yourself in a position and really be cognizant. Okay, like I use the example of like Whole Foods and Sprout. You know, be cognizant of where you are and expect that type of man. Because if you had some low-level club or bar or something, well, you, you don't get mad if you get some low-level type of guy hollering at you. That's where you at, Right. See, that's the important thing. Think about the class level, and, and when I say class, not just social economic class, but behavioral class of wherever that of the guys you're trying to get with and how they're going to behave. And make sure that you're in line with that. Because especially some women who want the more, you know, professional types, upper class types, oh, shoot, they picky. And they trust me, they're looking at your class. They're looking at it. So, anyway... Yeah, ladies, but it isn't difficult. It really isn't. Because, guys, that's our nature to talk to. All you had to do is be chill. In fact, if y'all have listened to some other podcasts and, you know, worked on your sex appeal, worked on your body, 
you know, just being feminine. Shoot, all you had to do, you could just walk into a club or you can even walk into a Whole Foods, right? Walk into a Whole Foods or one of those places, uh, you know, normally they might have a little sit down place to eat or something. Go in there, get maybe a little thing to eat, cross your legs. And you might get three or four men that come over like, hey, how you doing? So, you know, but it ain't difficult, ladies. It's just a matter of just put yourself in the places where the type of men you want are going to be. And just be receptive. Be receptive. All right? So, anyway, that's all I got for now. I'll talk to y'all ladies later. Peace.